Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can decorate an EOS like a minion. It is very easy and it looks super cute. So if you want to see how to do this, just keep on watching. To do this, you'll need two different kinds of EOS, the Blueberry Akai and the Lemon Drop One, black, yellow, and blue polymer clay, baby wipes, which are optional, hand sanitizer, a picture of the minion eyes and the mouth, a strong glue, an exacto knife, and finally, a blow dryer. Okay, let's get started. You're going to start by cleaning your EOS with your baby wipes, but this is optional. If your EOS are new, you may skip this step. Now, take your two EOS and remove the cap of both of them. Now you're going to screw the cap of the lemon drop to the blueberry akai and the lemon drop cap to the blueberry akai. This is going to make the minion body. If you don't want to use two EOS, you can actually paint either part of the EOS you have with acrylic paint. This is also going to work. You can actually use the other EOS and do another minion but upside down. Next. Take the picture of your minion's eyes and mouth. I just happened to have this container that was the perfect size for an EOS. If you're using a picture that is printed in normal computer paper, you may have to cover it with contact paper to prevent it from tearing. Once you have cut it, you'll have to glue it to the top part of the EOS with glue and a toothpick and it should look something like this. And you're going to set it aside to dry a little bit. Now take your blue polymer clay and cut a small portion of it. Then make a long but thick road and then cut it in half and this is going to make our legs. Now you can set them aside. Next, take your black polymer clay and make a ball with it and then you're going to cut the ball in half and then you're going to cut one of the half in half again and this is going to make our shoes. You can shape it to look more like a shoe if you want but when you cut it, it actually looks like a shoe. Next, take your leg piece and the shoe and put them together and you can set them aside. Now take a little bit of the blue polymer clay and roll it into a thin coil and then you're going to flatten it out with something. I'm just using the exacto knife to do this. Then take the piece and place it on top of the EOS like so and using your exacto knife you're going to cut the excess like I'm showing you in the video. This is going to make a strap and you need to repeat that for the other side. Then I forgot to film this part but to make the arms make a rod with yellow clay and then cut one of the ends in an angular motion to make it easier to rest on the EOS and you need to make two for this. To make the hands, make two small balls out of black polymer clay and for the fingers, make three little balls with black polymer clay for each hand. And then you're going to put the fingers on the hands. Then we're going to make a thin small coil to make the rim of the gloves. And once you put everything together, this is going to be our hands or our gloves. And once you finish both hands, place them on the remaining arms. Next, flatten a small piece of blue clay to make the pockets of the overalls, and you can use the exacto knife to simulate the stitches on the pocket. Finally, to make the hair, you can either make a long coil of black polymer clay and bake it like so, then cutting each individual piece and glue it one by one. You can also draw the hair on the EOS with a permanent marker or leave it with no hair at all, like I did at the end. Once you have all the pieces, if you don't have an oven or you don't want to use it just for this, you can actually use a hair blow dryer to bake your pieces. Just aim the heat on your pieces until they are hard. This usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the size of your pieces. Now you just have to assemble everything together with your glue and a toothpick and you're going to let it dry for 24 hours before using it. And that's it guys, I hope you like this DIY. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you create any of these DIYs, you can actually send me a picture to any of my social medias that are listed down below, just because I really love seeing your creations, and I can like them, and retweet them, and reblog them, and like them on Facebook, and every single thing, I don't know. So that's it for this video guys, see you in the next one, bye bye.